welcome back. I'm Amy Ellis and this is So Modern Quilts. My goal with this channel has been to inspire and educate quilters and aspiring quilters with tips and tricks at the sewing machine. And this week we're back with another block for the Modern Quilt Block series, which is perfect for beginners to advanced quilters alike because there's so many options and a lot of them are really simple, but you still get stunning results. So let's take a look at Rule of Thirds. This is our new block this week and you know we have set a lot of squares varying sizes and you get some fun movement with this block. So go ahead and hit subscribe so you can stitch with me again next week and there's a free download in the description below. If you click over to my shop and add it to your cart it's a free free pattern this week. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so rule of thirds is quite simple. It's made up of a group of squares and we're just working with proportions within the nine and a half inch block week to week. So this one is going to create movement with this diagonal that we're making with the background squares and it's really, it could be really fun to you know, change up all of these shaded squares with the different colors in fabrics. So to begin, we're going to stitch these pink squares together. And I'll be using a nice quarter inch seam allowance right here and here to get those sewn. All right, so these I press towards the darker fabric. I'm going to stitch this background square to the long unit here and then also stitch this unit to my large square. Here's our final seam to sew and I went ahead, this one is pressed towards the darker fabric and then this seam was pressed towards these squares. Even though there's a seam there, that way it will nest here as I continue and these instructions are included in the pattern. To make sure that my seam matches I like to pin at the diagonal here and then I'm also going to add a couple of pins at the top and the bottom just just to make sure that everything is square in the end. And it makes it, especially if you're making multiple blocks, it makes it a quicker sew in for me at least, when I take a few minutes to pin all my blocks instead of pinning one, sewing one, <laughs> sewing one, pinning one, that sort of thing. So food for thought if you've not tried that. Finished rule of thirds block and I love the movement that this creates and you'll see with the layout options there's some different things that you could do with this block. So let's go ahead and take a look. The layout options for Rule of Thirds are fairly straightforward, but I really love the results. So let's take a look. Rule of Thirds just by itself is, you can turn it and play with it a whole bunch of different ways, but I ended up just really loving it all kind of in one direction. So there's multiple things obviously that you could do with this, but by just kind of showcasing the simplicity of the block, you can have a lot of, you know, a really great, great quilt as well. Rule of Thirds plus Activation, which was last week's block, is a lot of fun as well. I like how I the, the Rule of Thirds block kind of alternates from row to row, and so you get a different kind of push and pull. Next we have Rule of Thirds with Star Zone. These are just fun. I It's a kind of a funky graphic quilt that includes some different shapes that you don't often see. Rule of thirds plus triplets. Triplets keep showing up. It's always a great one to kind of accentuate different ideas and this one's no different. We've got this cool elongated hexagon on the diagonal and you could play that up in so many different ways. You could embroider in those big open spaces after you have a quilt top. There's so many options. So don't rule that one out and enjoy the process for sure. If you've not yet, go ahead and download your free pattern as well as subscribe to the channel so that we can stitch again together next week. 
if you would give me a quick thumbs up and let me know what you're up to in the comments. I would love to connect with you there. I look forward to stitching with you again next week. Thanks so much.